G'day guys, how you going? Uh, another episode of Vlogist, brought to us by the Fluffy Nomo channel. My God, I like that. Uh, did I say like? I love that lady. She is so cool. And Alma. Alma from Keto Meets Menopause. They're like two of my favourite people on YouTube. You know? Who's another one that I want to shout out? Bama Girl Amy. Go check her channel out, please, guys. She's like cool. It's a different channel. It's just cool. Um, today, we're going to go for a walk on a previous episode that I've uh, put together of mine um, down by the beach. Because why? Why? Because over here, it is raining. It's my day off. I'm going to go into the gym and do my... I've had a beautiful, healthy breakfast. I'm going to go into the gym and do a great bloody walk. Let's go on this walk. Uh, a great walk, a great gym workout as well, and smash that. And then I just got to come into the office periodically and ring people and do things and, you know, all the kind of stuff you do when you run your own business. Um, in the meantime, let's go for a walk, and I've got a, uh, a special thing that we're going to do. Let's do it. Off we go. So today, we're going to go and run through some very funny Aussie slang sayings. Bludger. I wonder if you know what bludger, the term bludger, would mean. What do you reckon it would mean? Well, I'll tell you. AKA, lazy. We have doll bludgers here. That's guys that actually bloody um, get paid by the government to not work. Doll bludgers. They're taking it out of my tax money, though. Ha ha ha. Very funny, you doll bludgers. Get to bloody work. Duvalaki. Now that's a classic Aussie term. Duvalaki. Bloody phone. Duvalaki. A thingy. You know, something that, like, you point at it and you, you don't know what it is. And you're like, what the hell is that Duvalaki? What the hell does that Duvalaki do? Here's another one. Crook. Crook. I wonder if you know what crook is. Sick. When you can't make it to work. The other day, one of my workers couldn't make it to work. You saw it in an episode. He was crook. He had to go home crook. Grundies. This one I had to look up. I, I, you know, I, I've never heard this one. And as I looked it up, some sayings, I, I, it's a rhymed slang, a short version for undies. Grundies. Well, it's not short, is it? It's just an abbreviation or whatever the hell I'm trying to say. Strike a light. I love this one. Strike a light. There's a guy in a in a in a, a, a famous Aussie um, a soapy which my wife watches all the time. I have no idea why, but she does. And it's called Home and Away. Look it up. There's a guy called Elf. He's a grumpy old guy, right? And he's always coming up with sayings like that. Oh, strike a bloody light! Why the hell is this guy in my way? Strike a light. You know. Okay, when you're annoyed at something, you strike a light. T, not the bloody grey wolf fitness thing where you hold your little hand up and you have a cup of tea. No, tea is dinner time. When we're having our dinner, we go to and have our tea. Hurry up, you mongrels. There's another one. I just made that up. Hurry up, you mongrels. It's time for tea. Your dinner will be getting cold. Dog's eye. Ooh, that one I didn't know. I've been living in this country my whole life. It's a meat pie. Now, this one you have to look up. If you don't look up the last one, I don't care. Look up meat pies. Because if you ever come to Australia and you don't know what a meat pie is, bloody word phone, you don't know what a meat pie is, you can get yourself into trouble. That's a dog's eye. Crack a fat. People, um that get offended easily, please block your ears. I'm very sorry about this one. It's just me being cheeky. Crack a fat, AKA a chub, an erection. That's right. Rack off. <laughs> That's a nice way of saying, you know, F off. <laughs> Chunda. Oh, I love this one. This one here, after you try one of those dog's eyes, you may or may not, Chunda which is, a.k.a. vomiting. Now, this one I love, hard yakka. Hard yakka, they even brought out a line of clothes wear for this one. Hard yakka is the term, a.k.a. 
hard work, which is what I had to do because John the Labourer broke his little fingernail the other day. He hurt his wrist, so I've been um, shit stirring him. There's another Aussie one for you. Shit stirring him for the whole bloody rest of the week because he broke his little um, fingernail and couldn't couldn't um, finish the day's work, which was allowed for a full day. And an old man like me at 48 had finished your bloody work in one hour, mate. One hour. Get your crap together. Okay, what else have we got? Spit the dummy. Something that I just did right now. I spat the dummy at John the Labourer. I cracked up. I lost the plot. There you go. How cool are some of those sayings? And that is it. I think that's both pages. Yeah, it is. Fantastic. I love it. So there you go, guys. Something different. Um... I still haven't caught up to all of the channels on this uh, vloggist, but today I'm hoping to do that. Uh, I'll come I'll come on. I might not even watch all your videos, but you know what? I'm going to come and say hello. I'm just going to come on, subscribe to your channel, say a quick hello, and then I'll catch up as I go because your comments will come through. My other channels, people, um, if I'm not responding to you straight away, uh, it's because of the chaotic thing that's happening at the moment. And how bloody cool is this? Yeah, actually, I've got an idea too. Um, I'm just going to put this forward to Laurie because she's she's the um, lady that's organised all of this and caused all of our chaos in our lives. You reckon we can do like you know a vlogist and then next month's what's well, next next month next month's one in this month as well. So like double the amount of vlogs. Let's just crank it up to ten on the Marshall amplifier. Let's go overboard. I love it. You know, this is great. This is just, oh, I feel like I'm at home. Hello to every every new subscriber, all the great new faces, all the people that I've left out and forgotten, because if I put you guys in here, they'll lynch me. They will lynch me. You know, they'll grab a rope and, and strap it up to a tree and hang me, because it'll be like a 20-year video. In fact, this is the take two. First one was 20 minutes. So... Um, see you later guys I can't wait for the next vlog in fact I'm going to do the next vlog um, tomorrow's vlog right now and I might even release it too so you guys have to suffer in your jogs ha 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 for mozzie bars catch you guys later on over and out love your heaps da 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 beebity bobbity boo bye I'm still talking over I oh, shut up guys. just shut up mm.